The Louisville Zoo is now offering ways for you to support the animals hurting from the bushfires in Australia. Zoo goers can now donate to the Louisville Zoo's conservation fund to specifically help Australia wildfire affected by wildlife affected by the fires. The Louisville Zoo has already donated $1,000. And this donation comes two weeks after one of the Louisville Zoo employees was in Australia and actually saw the damage firsthand. The night team's Heather Fontaine has his story. It's usually crystal clear, but you can see the smoke. Pictures taken 60 miles from the blaze in Australia, and still the damage is clear. Heartbroken. I don't know if there's a better word. Fred Hoagland was visiting Canberra in southeast Australia with his wife over the holiday. A vacation that almost became an evacuation for his in-laws who live there. We were taking photos of all the photos, so we, if we something were to happen, we'd at least have have those kind of things. Before it was the actual, you've got 15 minutes to get out of the house. The wind so strong it blew enough smoke to take over land dozens of miles away. Even on a light day that it it wasn't a pleasant day to be out there. At times, they were told to stay indoors. But it was too hazardous to even take a walk outside. It was it was that bad. Even then, sometimes the smoke was hard to avoid and creeped its way inside. At one point, I was at a movie at the at the mall and uh, watching Star Wars, and the smoke came into the theater as you're watching. And at first, I was like, "Is this an effect of the movie?" But I mean, it it just permeates everything. Oh, we're gonna get a little scratch. The educator at the Louisville Zoo has a love for animals that's traveled across the world. What do you think? And he appreciates the safe setting for the wallabies here, as he prays for those animals and people on the other side of the globe. Pulls at every heartstring you have. Heather Fountain. I mean, it's their entire lives that were going up in flames over there. WHAS 11 News. Hoglin's family is safe, but he still encourages others to donate. To find out how you can help, go to whas11.com or just click this story on our free WHAS 11 app.